Hey guys, can you here? This is another Mac on um, PC video, and uh, this is uh, actually this is really towards the Mac. It's actually about the MacBook Air. This you know, there's a lot of videos flying around YouTube. There's a series from Mr. from Mr. Bit called All Things uh, All Things Air. So you know, if you haven't seen that, check that out. Uh, he has a lot of great videos on uh, All Things Air, and uh, as well as Evie 77 has great videos. And you know, I've seen responses from a lot of people. Uh, you know, so I want, I've been doing my little series on them for a while now, and, uh, when I started off yesterday with my topic on benchmarks and tests and stuff like that, I showed some applications, some Photoshop bench, uh, tests on Cinebench and, uh, what, Xbench did I show? Yeah, Xbench. And, uh, and today I want to talk more about the SSD drives and, uh, SSD drives and boot speed, stuff like that. So first off, the solid state drive, of course. Uh, I'll try. I'm gonna throw in some pictures over here and there. I'm gonna actually edit this video down. I usually don't edit my videos, but I'll throw in pictures and I'll uh, probably won't throw in video. I'll just probably throw it. Uh, you know, do my own little. Uh, I'm not sure. You'll, you'll see it as edits. Don't worry, you won't miss any pictures. If not, the links will be in the video description down over here somewhere. Uh, first off, you know the SSD. I'm right here. I have the. Uh, Apple window pulled up here. You have the parallel ATA 80 gigabyte hard drive with the optional SSD hard drive, solid state hard drive, and I'll show you two pictures uh, popping around here somewhere sometime soon. Anyways, uh, you'll have uh, you have your uh, your uh, ADA, ADA drive, which is not he has moving parts as a spinning disk within it compared to your uh, solid state drive. Now, a solid state drive basically has no moving parts, no moving components. Uh, and, uh, in the world of technology, uh, hard drives aren't all anything but are solid state. They have solid state uh, pen drives. Uh, you know, this isn't a pen drive, but, you know, stuff like this, this is a receiver. But, you know, your usual pen drive will look around like this, and then there's no moving parts inside. There's solid state hard drives. So, you know, flash memory, basically, kind of like RAM. In a sense, in a sense, not theoretically, it isn't RAM, but uh, a lot of uh, you know articles like Apple Insider has been talking about this, and uh, basically, there's no uh, you know moving components within this. It's all built on flash memory, so you know it's, it's equals faster uh, random uh, boots stuff like that, and s some consecutive boots. You know, overall, it, c it makes the system much faster, but you know. Not in, in, in certain aspects of the system, so uh, the picture should be coming up right about here. Okay, anyways, guys, uh, about back on the solid state drives. Uh, a lot of people are talking about, like I showed yesterday, how price comparisons can be. And now you have, you know, with your you have your standard 1.6 gigahertz and 1.8 gigahertz. Now for the hardcore, you know, if you're on the go and you really do need a fast option MacBook Air, you know, you would of course go for the 1.8. Solid state hard drive. You have a pretty, you know, pretty fast system built on OS 10 right there. So when you have OS 10, here's your three points here. You have OS 10, which is great OS, pretty fast itself. 1.8 gigahertz, pretty, you know, it's not the best, pretty decent though. 1.8 will get you by, and you have your solid state drive at 64 gigabytes. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that's not enough space, stuff like that. Solid state's too much. Guys, like I said, uh, solid state ranges. The one that are, we're talking about, 64 gigs, is at 1,600 bucks. They charge you at 999 dollars, which is about 600 dollars uh, less than what they're buying this for. But they need to make a profit, and you know they're giving you the, ben the you know they're giving you a uh, cheaper price here. That's good compared to what they're buying it from, and you know, and depending on their vendor. But um, anyways, uh, there is higher uh, solid state hard drives out there. There's the 30. There's 128 gigabyte uh, Memorite hard drive, and basically this is an SSD as well. It is a uh, took. It, it can be inserted in a MacBook Pro. There's actually a video I saw on uh, the MacBook Pro booting with an, a Memorite 128 gigabyte SSD drive. It takes around 21 seconds to boot the MacBook Pro. So in instance, you know, it's of course it's not the fastest booting Mac, but it is a pretty fast Mac. Uh, you know, boot system. You know, if you need to get your stuff quickly, it does boot really pretty, pretty much fast. You know, uh, granted, uh, if you're wondering Windows, it takes out 40 se 47 seconds average for the one I timed it for. Uh, for the memory drive, it was 21 seconds, and the memory drive is 2 2.5 inches and 9.5 millimeters thick. So if they can get this, you know, thin enough to fit in the uh, MacBook Air in the near future, get a thinner 
SSD at 128. It's going to be much, much faster, guys. So, really, you just have to look forward to the future. Don't really judge it yet. You have to wait for their first quarter sales and all that stuff like that. So, you know, give it some time. And I'm not going to put that video in, but I will post the link because it's not my video. But I do, I will post the link over here. Oh, actually, it'll be over here for you guys. Sorry. Over there. And then uh, that's around three, that runs around 3,000 bucks. You know, solid sites can even run much, much more. Go to frugal.com and type in SSD. Now, uh, if you want to try out a uh, solid state hard drive for yourself in your first system, I would recommend the Lexmark. I believe it is. They have some pretty cheap, I think they're like 30 gigabyte SSDs. Pretty cheap. Decent enough that you try out. Anyways, more, back on solid state drives. Uh, anyways, they were started in the year of 19. Oh, sorry, I have my notes. Let me pull up my notes here. 1978 by a company called Storage Tech, and that's T E K Storage Tech. And uh, I'll pr I'll provide the wiki, the Wikipedia, in the link over here. So basically, you know, of course, but it's all made on flash memory. It's an SSD commonly composed of manned flash, non volt, non Sorry, I should say this right here. Non-volatile memory or DDR volatile memory. So it's like DDR RAM, of course, but it's volatile, non-volatile memory. And basically, uh, you know, uh, the advantages you get faster startups because no spin is required. You get uh, near random access because there's no read and write stuff. Extremely low read write latency time, stuff like that. But then disadvantages. Capacity, it's not all that huge yet. Again, it's just starting off here. Uh, you know, they're really getting advanced, limited write cycles, and uh, as of for some people, the price. But you know, uh, I think you know if they can get this uh, SSD in, and I think it would be worth it because you know you get the ex you get the extra speed. Now we're talking about sequential order, guys. Sequential meaning boot after boot after boot, a solid state going on with an HD a, a hard disk drive. Uh, you know, I'll post a link to the Apple Insider video. I'm sure you've all seen it when they boot the things. Now we're talking about sequential order. Now, as for applications, uh, the MacBook Air pretty much opens up pretty dang fast. You know, with the SSD, it's pretty recurring, pretty fast. And as for the, you know, hard disk drive, you know, I believe they're 18 seconds. They're 18 seconds apart in Apple Insider's video. But uh, like I said, it's not sequential time you might not see the difference but at random boots when it's like needed at random time where you just have to really turn it on it can boot much faster and uh, I'm gonna actually time a video right now for you guys I have my time on my stopwatch.com open up here uh, this is actually the time where Mr. Bit uses so if you've seen his videos uh, anyways I'm gonna pull you over to the video here let me show you here uh, well sorry I'm a little close up here okay I have my laptop sitting right here and no, that's not my laptop, of course, my laptop right here. And I'm gonna basically, uh, you see this video right here. I'm gonna boot, I'm gonna, as soon as, uh, he boots his video, right? This is a MacBook Air SSD booting. This is the Apple Insider. This is just the MacBook Air. Okay, I'm gonna click play, and on this screen, I have my stop timer here, and my mouse right here in the middle. So as soon as he hit, I hear the click noise on the, Thing I'm gonna I want I want to get you at a middle angle but it's kind of far and the, and the sc screen glare is just way too huge because of the white background so uh, as soon as I hear the click I'm gonna hit start so I'm gonna hit play in the video because the key he clicks it like one second before the key, there's a one second gap before he clicks it so here we go got it he clicked it and uh, off to the boot up okay and then there's the Apple ping if you heard it. And there's the video. It's at the blue screen right now. Now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pause the timer as soon as he picks up. There's the Apple logo. This is the MacBook Air SSD booting up. This is the user FCGAP. See the backlit keyboard and done. Okay. Now uh, how do I test it here? I test it by, of course, when one on the MacBook, on the Max OS 10 when it boots, I test it by, of course, from the menu bar and icon show, and when it finds its wireless network by default, so it's gonna, you know, pull up all uh, its uh, icons and stuff like that, and it's gonna load the menu bar as soon as you see the wireless network uh, go up and all that stuff. I stopped it, and we have a time of.
30 seconds and 469 milliseconds, I would guess, or nanoseconds, or whatever. But anyways, it's 30 seconds, guys. See, is you know, it's, it's not sequential, of course, but is a, I guess you can call it a random boot. 30 seconds, fast, guys, pretty fast for a solid state hard drive with only 64 gigs. And like I said, I'll leave all the links to the MacBook, book, MacBook Pro booting. Uh, other, I think it was 20 sec, 21 seconds. Stuff like that. I have a lot of links for you guys, so make sure you check out the video description. So that's just a little bit about the SSD boot up times. And if you're wondering, the 128 gigabyte hard drive shuts down around two seconds. So two seconds all it takes to shut down. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next uh, my next uh, series on the MacBook Air.